Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to display percentages in charts. In the modern charts that Microsoft just introduced into Access 2019 and the Office 365, you can create some pretty cool looking pie charts, but there's no option for showing percentages. So in this video, I'll show you how to do just that. Today's question comes from Brent from Santa Ana, California, a gold member. Brent says, I'm trying to create a pie chart in Microsoft Access using these new modern charts. I cannot figure out for the life of me how to see a percentage value for the data label. I can do it in the old Access charts and I can do it in Excel, but I can't figure out how to do it in these new modern charts. Help. Well, you're right, Brent. The new modern charts that were introduced in Access, I believe, 2016, they're pretty cool looking, but they're still in their infancy. They still have a lot of work to do on them. Excel definitely has a lot better charting options available. So if it's something that you can copy over to Excel, you'll get a lot better charts out of Excel. But let me show you how to do it in Microsoft Access. In case you want to throw together a quick chart, I like to put my charts like on my menu for like a dashboard so I can see certain things like sales. And access charts are just fine for simple little charts like that. But you're right, there's no percentage option in the pie chart so that we have to do a little trick in a query to get the percentages and use that as a data point. So here I am in Microsoft Excel, and I've got my sales for the last 12 months broken down by category. I want to put this in a pie chart and see what percentage of my sales came from each category. In Excel, it's super simple. Just select all the data for the chart, Go up to Insert, under Charts, find the chart you want. Here's Pie Charts. I'll do a simple 2D pie chart. Click on it. There's your chart. Now to turn your data labels on, just right click and go to Add Data Labels. That'll put them on there in dollar amounts. If you want to see percentages, right click, go to Format Data Labels. And right here you'll see Value and Percentage. Just turn Percentage on if you want both of them. And you could turn value off if you don't care to see the dollar amount. And there you go. It's that easy to see percentages in your charts in Excel. That was really pretty easy. Now let's move over to Access. Let's say you've got all of your information, the same data, in a table in Access. Now, yes, usually in Access, you'll have your order table. It's got all the individual orders and the order amounts. And you can use an aggregate query to join all that information together by category and sum up your amounts. OK, I have other videos that explain how to do that. What you want is an aggregate query, also known as a totals query. I will include links down below in the description for other videos that cover how to get this summary information. But assuming you've got this, OK, how do we put this into a chart in Microsoft Access. Well, let's go over to our main menu form. Now, this is my simple blank customer database. You could download a copy of this template from my website. Again, you'll find a link down below. I'm just going to use this main menu to throw a chart on it. Now, let me first show you the old style charts. Let me get rid of this label here, too. Actually, we don't need these buttons either. Goodbye. Okay. If you go to the toolbox right here, there's a chart control right there which is different from the modern chart option, which is out here, that was recently added, I believe, in Access 2016. All right, so pick the old chart first. Let me show you how the old chart works. All right, the chart wizard appears. Where do you want to get your data from? Order T, next. What do you want in the chart? The category and the amount. Don't really need that ID in the chart. What do you want? Let's do a pie chart. Okay, category, sum of amount, I guessed those correctly, that's fine, hit next. What title would you like for the chart? Orders by category, and do you want a legend? Sure, why not? And then finish. And there it is. Now, it's not very pretty. That's one of the reasons why Microsoft is redoing them with the modern charts, but it's functional. Now, you really don't see a summary here. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't give you a preview. So, let's save this, close the main menu form, and then reopen it again. And there you go. Again, it's not very pretty, okay, but it works. These actually look better if you make them bigger. These are designed mostly to be printed out. Let me close this menu here. If you make this guy big, it looks a little better. All right, these are usually designed to stick on your reports or make full screen charts out of them. 
There, that looks a little better. Now you want data labels on it? Okay, right click, design view, right click on this guy, go to chart object edit. That puts you into chart editing mode. Okay, again, real old school here. This is like this is like Excel 2000-ish kind of. Now all you have to do in here is right click format data series. This menu comes up. You could change the, the colors, all that stuff. But under data labels, okay, you could put the value on or you could put the percentage on. I'll put the percentage on. Hit OK. There you can see them in the preview. Save it. Close it. Yep. Open it back up again. And there you go. It's that easy. Even the old school, old access charts give you percentages. Now, let's take a look at the modern charts. I'm going to close this one. I'm going to copy this guy and just copy paste. We'll call this main menu. Actually, we'll call this chart F. Chart F. I like to save these for the, the gold members can download the database. So I like to save these for them. All right. Chart F design view. Let's delete this guy and let's recreate the same thing using a modern chart. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to shrink this back up just a little bit. It's easier to work with and I can put the menus open. Okay. Insert modern chart. Pi, drag it out where you want it. This thing appears. All right, what do we want here? We're going to pick from a table. We're going to pick from order T. All right, there it is. Looks good so far. All right, let's set our value, our Y axis equal to amount. All right. And now we can turn data labels on and go up to format and then pick display data label right there. Okay, there you go. Now, there's the data label, but it's dollars. It's not percentages. There's nowhere in here to change that option, all right, to go to percentages. Nowhere. And that's the chart settings. You can also open up the properties for this object. Right-click properties. All right, there it is. We can close the chart settings. There's a ton of properties in here. None of them will set percentages. Now, one of them, if you scroll down here, all right, there's a primary values axis uh, format in here right there and yeah you can send this to percent okay but it just that just multiplies it by a hundred all right that doesn't do anything all right get rid of that okay I've scoured these settings I looked in here I googled it for a while I can't find any way to turn on percentages so if you've got something by all means post a comment let me know so what we're gonna have to do in that case is we're gonna have to make our own percentages in the query because I can't figure out any way to do it. If you got something, then by all means, let me know. Delete this guy. We don't want that. All right. In fact, I'm going to save this chart form, close it. Let's make a query. So create query design, bring in your order T or whatever data source you're using. All right. We need category and we need amount. Now, if I run the query, now I get this. What I want is I want this as a percentage of all of these values. Okay, so I'm going to need to know how to sum all of these up, right? I can use D sum for that. So I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to call this perk, meaning percentages. Okay, and this will be the amount, the amount field divided by D sum, D S U M, what field amount from what table, order T, or a query if you're using a query. All right, we don't need any criteria because we're just pulling them all in. Okay, so take the amount right here and divide it by the total of all of the amounts. Get it? All right, save this. Sales percent by category, Q. All right, now when I run this, that's what you get. Okay, you can see this guy here is 52%. If that's too big for you, let's, let's break it down. Let's round this number off. All right, round that to maybe three decimal places. Okay, there we go. There's our percentages. That looks like about 52% of the whole, right? 14%, 13%. Leave it like this because then we'll use that percent format over in the in the chart, all right? You could multiply this by 100 if you want to see that as 19.1, for example. So that's how you calculate your percentages and put them in a query. You might want to use this for other reports or whatever. Okay, that's a good step right there. But now we can use this value in the chart. So let's go back to our chart form, design view, modern chart, pi, 
drag, drag it right there. Okay, queries this time, sales by percentage. We're using the percentage as our data label, okay, as our Y axis. Go to format, turn on the data labels. They show up like that now. Okay, go to the property sheet. You can shut down the chart settings now. Find that thing I showed you earlier, that, that format right there. You could change that to percent. And there you go. And if you don't want fractions on there, you can just do something like this. You can go 0% like that. And you'll get it like that. Or if you want one decimal, you can go 0.0%. .0%. Okay, see how that works? And these look a lot better if they're bigger, like I said. Even the modern charts do. So make that as big as you can. All right, so yeah, access the access team needs to add that as a simple, easy feature. Okay, I, I, I couldn't find a way to do it without doing it this way, but now we have a solution. There is still no easy way in modern charts to come in here and change the individual pie slice colors or things like that. So these are looking really cool. They're coming along, all right, but they still got a lot of work to do on them. In fact, I've touched on these really briefly in my full classes, but I really haven't done a lesson on the modern charts yet because I'm waiting for them to finish them. There's a lot they still have to do to finish these guys. And then when they're done finishing them, then I'll, I'll, do a, I'll put a full lesson together on them. Oh, and by the way, I just did Google it, and the modern charts were added in 2018. So they're in either Office 365, if you've got a sub subscription, or they're in Access 2019. Want to learn more about these charts? Well, in the extended cut for members, I'm going to show you how to make the chart changeable by the user. We'll put a little list box there with four different types of charts, pie, bar, column, and line, and then they can click on that little list box there and change the type of chart it is. Here it is, pie, bar, column, line. And there's lots of other options too you can automate. I'm just showing you one of them in the extended cut. That is the extended cut for members only, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. But don't worry. These tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and feel free to share it wherever you think it might help people who are interested in access. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to be notified every time I post a new video. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link below to join my mailing list. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over three hours long, and you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and that is free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page, and you can send me your question there. If you have a specific problem you need help with, or you'd like to discuss having a database built for your needs, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting. Be sure to follow my blog, and find me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video, and you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.